Welcome back everybody. New video here from Abandoned PKB. We're looking out across the Ohio River over to Little Hawking on the other bank and we are at something that absolutely bewilders me. So if you guys have any information about it, uh, I would love to hear it. This is actually a user submitted uh, I should say viewer submitted topic um, from a man named Ben who asked me if I knew about a lighthouse in Parkersburg and I no, no I didn't <laughs> so that lighthouse led me to here and there's not just a lighthouse it's uh, these two houses over here we're gonna look at I'm not gonna go up to them because there's a four-wheeler parked outside one of them, which makes me think that somebody is living in one. But you've got these two houses that are, looks like mirror images of each other, but yet mostly unique. I mean, you don't see that style of architecture in Parkersburg much. And they're kind of out here in the country. So I don't know what the story is on those. And to the left of the house on the left, there's a little red brick building. And then back on the tree line there, uh, it might look like a chimney in your video, but that's actually what appears to be a lighthouse. But it's not actually a lighthouse. Uh, I actually have no idea what that is. Uh, in fact, the lighthouse is right there. Now, can anybody tell me why there's a lighthouse on the Ohio River? Just stick with me, folks. This, this story gets weirder. Um, so, I don't know if I can get over here. Does, doesn't say no trespassing or anything, so I think we're fine. And this is like a public access fishing area, so I think that we're fine to be over here. There is a little mud though, so I'm going to try to get out of that. Now, this looks pretty old. If you look at the stone above the windows there, what was it, 1850s, 1860s that they put stone above windows like that. I'm not an expert in architecture, just interested in it. But let's take a look here. Got that railing there, made of pipe. And as I'm getting over here, I'm seeing I think what Ben thought was a lighthouse. It's not actually a lighthouse, but it does have this turret on it. And I I think from when you're standing back, it does kind of look like a lighthouse. I'm um, just without the light on top. There's the view of the river again. There's a little hawking just across the river. Looks like at some point they've tried to secure this because it has what looks like plastic bags over the windows, but there's just nothing left of the plastic bags. I'm going to be honest with you guys, this, because it's brick, doesn't look like it's incredibly unsafe. Uh, so I might go inside with you, just since it is daylight and it's good weather very fortunate that any people I've come across that have been homeless have actually been very friendly. So you can see here, we'll go back up to the house in a second, but you can see here that whatever this is, it has stairs that go all the way down to the river. And there's actually another set of stairs past that landing you see that goes down into the which is just really strange. Why would you have a set of stairs 
coming up to a lighthouse in West Virginia. Alright guys, um, I don't know what that big metal thing is. And this thing has a chimney on it too. I mean, I guess it's possible this is not a house. Maybe it's a very fancy factory. Now, I did find some information online about this place. And I haven't seen anything yet that connects it. So stick with me to the end of this video. And I will tell you guys what I did find out. Um, it's some, like black stuff. And guys, this has a concrete floor, and you can see how it's built there. It's very, very well built with concrete. So I am a little hesitant about going into some abandoned places, but this one seems pretty safe. I apologize for the lighting working with natural lighting here. You can tell the walls were plastered at one time. That gives us a little bit of a time frame. But it looks like plaster over frame. This one still has the old window frame in it. So it's strange because this little section of it here seems like it was almost a house, but yet it looks like the other half of it is something industrial. Oh guys, look at the peeling. I don't know if you can tell, but that is lead paint on asphalt, or not asphalt, concrete. Where's the old ceiling fixture? So that's just all peeled off. the door. Uh, now there's a blue barrel down here that's sketching me out a little bit. I'll explain why I'm a little sketched out about that when I get to the details about what I found out. Not necessarily this building, but this area was. It even, it even painted the floor. There's a nice phallus for you. Pretty cool piece sign. Now we walk through this doorway. Oh God, it has a basement. Okay, well, let's walk around the first floor first before we test our luck. Oh guys, look at this. This is beautiful. This is, um, this is tile. It's like subway tile, basically. But it's like brick with a tile, like porcelain tile exterior. That is it's the same type of material. It's got a, it looks like a water pipe embedded in the wall. Now I can tell you from my experience, this type of pipe was used in the 1920s and 1930s. But look at this. This is like something out of a video game. Oh, of course there's a painting of a jigsaw over there. But I've got to say, guys, this is some of the best graffiti work I've seen in Parkersburg. I tend to see graffiti as more art than vandalism, and I really do appreciate what I see here. A set of stairs. Looks like this area has been concreted. Now, just over there in the distance, the fenced off part, um, we're going to talk about that a little bit here at the end of the video. Did have electric at one time. This is the Westinghouse, it says. Main breakers. Somebody, of course, has stolen all the copper out of it. Um, I'm really not sure what this 
is. I thought at first it was a table. Oh, check that out. That's so cool. Guys, I'm gonna come back in here and take uh, some still photos. Nothing else because of the great artwork and this just looks beautiful, but there's definitely stuff bolted to the top of this. And then you've got that. Somebody destroyed one of the murals, but that's that same tile. And just look at all the colors. The decay and the colors. And uh, not sure how that was attached. There it goes. Some sort of ladder. And then this huge opening right here. Huh. This is a, this metal thing right here is an electrical conduit. Do we dare, guys? They look like metal stairs, and the upstairs floor looked like concrete. Oh. I think it might be safe to come up here. Oh, and there's that tile work on the... I just can't get over that brick with the white porcelain. Is anybody familiar with a Zeta Sigma Nu? Is that a fraternity around here? I've never heard of it. Wow. Oh, there's like a kind of a loft area. I don't know how you get up there, but there's like a uh, railing there to keep you from falling off. So any ideas, guys, what this might have been? Or does anybody know? Because I have no clue. <laughs> this almost looks like, well, never mind. I thought it might look like I had an elevator shaft. This is some kind of door, like, like, I don't know, almost like a hayloft type of thing. There was some kind of equipment mounted here. Look at that wall. I mean, that's gorgeous. Now, I can also tell you by that steel girder there, how it's crossed like that. That's also like a 1910s, 1920s style. So all those are kind of architectural elements put together. That's where I'm going to place this as far as timeline. It's probably 1910s, 1920s. It's about 100 years old. Now what we saw in the turret is actually not a turret. It is that. Now what is in this? I have no idea. Is that a shower? It is a shower. Yeah, it's got like two hooks right there. And then a drain in the bottom. What would you have that would have this kind of shower in it? Let's see if we can go around the side here. Okay. They're really, well, there is something here. Oh, there's just a, like a little ledge. Okay. Oh, somebody was here last year. I mean, this is almost like it was a closet. So I gotta say, guys, I'm really confused. This. Thought it was a lighthouse. Turns out there's other buildings associated with it. And then we get in here and like part of the building 
is a house and part of it is some sort of really, really unique looking industrial building. Now keep in mind guys, we still have a basement to check out, but we've got this little area off to the side here too. Now, even though there's a house right beside this, nobody's come down here and bothered me. Man, this is incredible. I think after I end this video, I'm gonna be here for like an hour just snapping pictures. It's just so cool. Alright, so this almost looks like maybe a truck door, like where a truck would back up maybe? Like maybe it was just a window at first and then later they modified it. That just looks like a loading dock um, to me. There's those stairs we saw earlier. And uh... I don't know what that connected to, but it seems something must have sat down in this hole. There's the electric for it. The hole. There's stairs that go down there. And then maybe that pipe connected to it somehow. It almost looks in like uh, when they re refurbish the modern loft buildings, it really almost looks like uh, the new how they put in the heating ducts now. Okay, guys, we're going in the basement. I'm not sure if there's one basement or more. Okay, now that I'm down here, there's just one basement. Now what's a little bit sketchy is obviously some people have been living here. I see one, two, at least two sets of box springs. Xylene, what is that? Is that something I shouldn't be around? And there's like some kind of vat here these pipes and a giant hole where it looks like there's a ladder for you to climb down there and that's some part of a door let's try not to fall in there okay. all right well that gets a little muddy back in there so I'm not going there and then these are the stairs where I first said there was a basement. And now we're basically under like the turret area now. I gotta say the basement's not quite as sketchy as I thought it was gonna be. It's just like a dirt floor, but I'm pretty sure it's actually concrete and the dirt's just washed down here. I keep, the reason I keep stopping is I keep hearing something scurrying, but just like, just for a second. It's like I hear a footstep, but then it's gone. Like I said, I'm not, like we're probably not supposed to be in here, but there's definitely no, no trespassing signs or anything, and it's in a public park, so it should be fine. Now see, this is like fairly modern. It's not connected to anything, but. Huh. And then like, what the heck was in these barrels? This door.
Definitely just heard something outside. Uh, I think it's a squirrel. Oh, you know what, guys? I bet that was a no trespassing sign. Whoops. Well, you guys are my witness. There was no no trespassing sign when I got here. Somebody took it long ago. Well, let's walk back upstairs. Now, what I wanted to tell you guys about this site is I was Googling like Parkersburg Lighthouse, wasn't finding anything. And what I ended up doing was I found out the name of the road that this public fishing access is at. And it turns out that it had an older name, that road did. It was, I can't even pronounce it. It's like Carborundurum or something like that. And I thought that was such a strange word, so I Googled that. And it turns out that what that is, is some sort of product that was manufactured and used in the production of nuclear weapons and nuclear re reactors. And I don't know if this building or actually any of these buildings are associated with that. But what I did find out is that the actual owners of this property are the US Department of Energy. Now that seems weird, doesn't it? Have you ever heard of the Department of Energy in Parkersburg? Why would they own this? I looked a little more into it, and it seems that over there in that space where it's all walled off, fenced off, and actually does have no trespassing signs, that in that area, in 1957, there was a plant built. And that plant worked on these rocks that were sent in from Nigeria that had uranium in them. And in over there is where they built the nuclear reactors for the U.S. Navy. And they also, I believe, also probably did it for nuclear weapons as well. All of that uh, became contaminated, and it's now known as the Parkersburg, West Virginia reclamation site or something like that. Uh, basically, I see that throughout the years, every few years, either NIOSH or the EPA or somebody comes in and tries to clean up the area because it is actually radioactive. Uh, I don't know if the building is. I hope not because I've been here for about half an hour. Uh, but that field over there that has all the no trespassing signs is actually radioactive. Apparently at one point they sold the land with the intent to build another factory and there was an explosion and a big fire. So the US Department of Energy took the land back and basically covered it up in mounds of dirt. So wherever you see the mounds of dirt over there, those aren't hills. They are buried concrete slabs, which were the foundation of that factory that have been determined to be contaminated. And there are also buried uh, barrels of uranium. And that is Really, all I was able to find out about this place um, is that basically it's radioactive. Um, so, yeah, we'll see down the road if that was a bad choice to come here. But that is what this is, not a lighthouse. Um, in fact, I could not truly tell you what in the world this place is. But it is for sure... Um, something from the 1910s, 1920s, 
um, possibly something related to this area's involvement in nuclear weapons and processing of materials um, containing uranium for the U.S. nuclear program. I thought that was a trespassing sign. It's not. Ah, here we go. So that's what that pipe is hooked to. That chimney. Still don't know what it'd be for. But... What that little area would be for. As far as I can tell, this is still like a sidewalked area here. There's a couple of pipes. I think they're pipes. Are these train tracks? Guys, this just got even weirder. These are train tracks that just go off into the river. I am so utterly confused. I mean, it seems a heavily trafficked area. There's, well, okay. I guess it is concrete. So there is a sidewalk down here. Maybe there were more houses like this one or like the ones over there. I mean, I don't want to walk all the way down there, but that whole path, that's not just a path, that's concrete. So at some point or another, there's been There's been something down there. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I don't want to go any further exploring. I don't want to be disappeared or have the MIB come after me. So I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I do apologize for taking so long to get some videos uploaded. I've got some stuff going on in my life. And um, unfortunately, one of the other videos that I've filmed, um, I was supposed to get some more footage and wasn't able to get it, but that video will be up soon. Um, I've also got some big plans coming up this year, and I've got a few videos that have already been filmed, and I just need to get them uploaded and edited. So thank you guys for being patient with me. In the meantime, make sure you follow me on Instagram at, at AbandonedPKB. Uh, when I don't have time to make videos or I have a subject that there's not enough to make a video about, I put it on there. So I'm sure you guys would be interested in those as well. All right, thank you guys for joining me. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't, and stay tuned for more Abandoned PKB content.